My name is Amina Matthews, and my project is the effects of isoflurane exposure on condition of the feet in Syrian hamsters. One out of four people in the United States suffer from neuropsychiatric disorders such as depression. A major cause of these disorders is social stress, which can be encountered daily in the work field, at school, or at home. Over the summer, I worked in the Kim Human Lab, who uses Syrian hamsters as models for depression and anxiety because they change the behavior from aggression to submission following social stress. In the lab, we use different treatments in order to pinpoint specific areas in the brain that cause that can be temporarily inactivated or hormones that can be released to decrease this, the expression of the hamster submissive behaviors. In order to give them these treatments, the hamsters have to go through surgery, during which they are exposed to an anesthetic. Our lab used to use Nebutol, which is a penobarbital injection that depressed in these treatments, the hamsters have to go through surgery, during which they are exposed to an anesthetic. Our lab used to use Nebutol, which is a penobarbital injection that depresses the sensory cortex. However, it is very expensive. Therefore, we switched to an inhalant form of anesthesia called isoflurane. We started to notice that there was an increase in the submissive behaviors of the hamsters when we switched from the, the Nebutol to the isoflurane. If isoflurane does have an effect on the hamster's behaviors by acting as an additional variable, that apart from the treatments that we were testing, then this could be a cost the scientific community and the healthcare industry a huge financial burden of having to find an alternative anesthetic to use during human and animal surgeries. However, if isoflurane has an effect on um, condition defeat, this could be a cost the scientific community and the healthcare industry a huge financial burden of having to find an alternative anesthetic to use during human and animal surgeries. However, if isoflurane has an effect on um, condition defeat by decreasing submissive behaviors, then this could actually introduce isoflurane as a possible treatment option for these neuropsychiatric disorders that has less adverse effects as some current treatments such as electroconvulsive therapy and the possibility of being more effective than antidepressants. This is what makes my research so important.